So today I'm going to talk about reservations. If somebody would have told me 30 years ago that I was going to need a reservation, actually to get in line to get a reservation uh, or a permit to go hiking, I would have told them they were nuts. But now it's the new normal. It doesn't matter if you're going backpacking, tent camping, car camping, taking this monster and trying to put it in a campground someplace. Get in the queue because it is hard to do. It is so hard to do just to set up my Florida reservations for state parks next winter. I had to uh, get an app and pay 20 bucks a month so I can key in all the places I want and the days I want to be there. And this app will check all those sites every five minutes. If somebody cancels, it'll book me. That is so crazy. And uh, it'll do the same thing with uh, uh, recreation.gov, which is where you're gonna get a lot of your backpacking permits. You can buy these apps now that will either call you and tell you that you know something's available, then you can book it, or they'll just book it for you automatically. And again, check every five minutes. And so, you know, places like Glacier, I've talked to before about doing pictured rocks um, and how I get around that because it's such a narrow park. I can go outside of the park at night and actually camp on state land. But you go to some place like Glacier, you have to be in designated campgrounds on designated nights and you need a reservation and a permit that puts you in all those places along that trip and there's just no way around it and it's getting worse every year i think now used to be half and half walk-in permit now i think it's like three quarter reservation and maybe a quarter uh, walk-in and we're talking about campsites with maybe four sites in a campground in the backcountry in glacier and this is all over the country i just read an article in outside magazine where they did quite a bit of research by actually going to some of these parks and some of these trails that are full and finding that they're half empty. And, you know, the land manager doesn't care because they've been paid. You know, I call it wreckyourvacation.gov. It's basically Boz Allen, a spy agency in Washington, D.C. that Snowden worked for. <laughs> and the parks don't get any of that money. That's just a reservation fee that goes in their pocket. They make hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Just as an example, if you hike the Arizona Trail and you get to the end, not too far from there is, in Utah is the Wave, which used to be a screensaver for on Apple computers all the time. Beautiful sandstone formation that looks like waves. And a lot of people want to go in there for years now, it's been a lottery. You show up in Kanab, Utah. Sometimes it takes two or three days to get a permit to hike in there. They only let so many people in a day. Well, now that's a reservation. So just an example of uh, Boz Allen made $100,000 last year just on the people that bought this lottery ticket to get a permit and lost. <laughs> so... They didn't get a permit. They just got their name in the pool and uh, didn't get a permit. And then you have to buy another lottery ticket to go in. That's how crazy it is today. So uh, you really have to get into these systems, whichever one you're going to have to deal with. And you got to figure it out and figure out any of the shortcuts and figure out all the rules. And, you know, the reason uh, a lot of these places are empty, even though they say they're full, like pictured rocks, I'll go up there, you know, I'll go online, it'll say, you, you know, in June, you can't get a permit until September. And then I'll go up there and hike and go off uh, property to camp at night. But when I'm hiking there, a lot of those campsites are empty because in like in Glacier's case, people aren't going to get their money back, so they just don't cancel. And really, the answer would be for these land managers to actually make people 
call in five days before their trip and say they're still coming because they've made these reservations six months out. You know, Aunt Mary dies, Susie's getting married. They're not coming. They're not getting their money back. So they just don't bother canceling. And, uh, a, you know, a five-day check-in or lose your permit would open a lot of backcountry up. Sometimes I wonder if this is just how land managers are trying to protect the resource by keeping us out because it would be so easy to fix the problem by doing that. So that's my old curmudgeon grouse for today. Keep smiling.